Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. I've uh, been trying to make a video, actually one of my Christian videos. Let's see what this noisy truck's going to do. Now that video just ain't coming out right. And when I say stuff like that, it means that I'm not liking what I'm hearing me say. I'm not expressing myself the way I want to. I just don't like that. There. So, uh, I gave up on it for now. It's a good message I want to share but a lot of these videos that I make I think about them for a day or two before I make them and I grant you some of them are just spontaneous but some of them I have to work on a little bit today has not been a good day it ain't necessarily been a bad day, but it ain't been a good day. Now, if you uh, watched last night's video, you know I went into my receiver. I stopped by and had dinner with Mama. Oh, well, me and Grandma got to share an hour or so together and eat together. Which really don't happen a whole lot during the week. But, uh, made that happen. I got on in there to my receiver and I camped out at their doorstep. And, uh, it all went as planned. They got there and I, uh, eased in there and butted their dock without setting off my digital log there. So when that one got that one kicked off, I started my digital clock as I was getting ready to leave, doing my stuff to leave. So I saved myself a lot of time. Within the less than an hour and a half of me starting my clock, I had all three drops off and was ready to put on my load. Well, one of these where you gotta call the broker. So this is just eating up on my 14 hour clock. So we're playing these games. It turned out I was 45 miles away from my load. So I had to go down to uh, Texas City. Down to Texas City Port. Now, I never dealt with that small of a port before, but I had nightmares flashing before my eyes of the Houston port. And if you've been with me for very long, you know me and Houston port ain't got a good relationship. We ain't got a good history at all. That one wasn't all bad down there in Texas City. A little bitty rascal. And, uh, I'm talking to the old boy. He helped back me into the dock they wanted me in, and it was tight. I didn't need the help, but he helped. It's what they do, and okay, thank you. Uh, so we're walking to the office to check in to see what I'm getting. And we're talking, and I'm like, well, how long do you reckon? He's on normally about a half hour. He says, if I have put stickers on every pallet, 45 minutes. I'm like, that's cool. So we get up there and I give them my load number, my pickup number, and all this other stuff they want, which wasn't much. I'm signing in on their log sheet, and he's talking to them, and he's just shaking his head. So uh, he told me, he says, sir, it's going to be more like an hour and 15, hour and a half. 
He says, your product's all buried, what they've got you picking up. i got to go unbury it, get it over there to the dock. So it's going to take longer than I thought. Sorry. It wound up taking over two hours, which really is not a bad load time. But I'd already ate up some time on them other drops. And uh, this load just ain't pulling good. I'm not making good time on it. I mean, I run Texas to Oklahoma. It ain't like we got mountains, but we got a few little hills. And this rascal just ain't pulling it right. Making terrible time. Stopped down the road about 15 miles. Fueled up. Getting ready to cross into Oklahoma. Grab me a little bite out of there, a couple of them little pizza things. Because I thought I had a couple hours to ride. I'm talking to a buddy of mine on the phone. And I happened to glance at my log. And I said, what did that say? So I go looking again, and uh, I was damn near out of my 14. I'm like, what? I had totally miscalculated. So uh, I'm still 214 miles from the yard. That's every bit of three hours, a little over it. Uh, which it, I'd plan on being a lot closer than this far quit today. I actually wanted to be back at the yard. So the way it's gonna work out is, uh, Grandma ain't gonna get to flirt with Papa Joe tomorrow. Uh, and I know that's gonna ruin her day. Or mine. Well, one of us ain't gonna be happy. So it looks like a Saturday morning thing. Which, as you can tell, I'm not all tore up and irate. It's trucking. This stuff happens. We've had a saying for years in the trucking industry. Don't make plans. If you make plans, it ain't gonna work. Which I hadn't really made any plans, but uh, I did kind of want to be home tomorrow just for the heck of it because I like getting home Fridays ah. and I usually don't use a sissy stick with this cup I do so uh I'll get into the yard tomorrow, somewhere between 10 and 11. It is what it is. I told dispatch, when I called him, told him I was low, I don't know if I'll make the yard tonight or not. Thought I'd be a lot closer than this. Just one of them days. Welcome to trucking. I mean, they, they happen. Ain't no perfect world out here, that's for damn sure. Uh, have my truck starting to flash some nonsense at me. I gotta get them to look at that tomorrow. Which it's done it before. And before the uh, code that it flashed was that it had a Interrupted rolling regen. But you really ain't a whole hell of a lot you can do about that. But I'll get them to wipe that off. I know they'll send me on my way. And we'll see if it comes back, and it will. Turn my AC on back there. Uh, 
uh, they are having uh, driver appreciation day tomorrow so uh, I had no intentions of sticking around for it but I had my plan that I would get there tonight and I'd be leaving 7 8 o'clock in the morning They're having it from like 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So, uh, I'm going to get there between 10 and 11. And they need to look at my truck. Or not. Or just tell me to go. I don't care. But I'll hang around for a few minutes and uh, I got to go. Moral of the story is for today, don't make plans when you're a truck driver. Because if you do, <laughs> something's going south. Moral number two, if you're a truck driver, stuff goes south, don't let it get to you. It used to be if something like this happened, I would be irate. Uh... Well, actually, back then, it would have took a breakdown to stop me. Because tonight, I would have been stopping here, and I would have been drawing new lines in that log book. And I'd been at the yard. Chances are, I'd been at the yard and partway back home before I stopped. We don't run paper no more. Now we run this electronic nonsense, and there ain't no room for error there. So, that was my exciting day. Like I said, it ain't been a good day, but it ain't been a bad day. I'm damn sure I had worse. I'm glad today wasn't one of them. It's just been a timing thing. Welcome to Trucking 101. Hey, y'all remember. God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed day now. I think I'm going to go back yonder. Good night.